Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar. In this video, I am going to talk about the real analysis asked in GATE 2019 and it's a memory based question and the topic in this real analysis is uniform conversion. So let's see the question first and how one should approach with this kind of problem that's important. Okay, let's see. So question here is very simple. So <clears throat> look at this sequence GNX x by 1 plus nx square where x belongs to a real number. Look, this R, I mean whatever question has sent me uh, by the students, I don't know here is R or some interval and all that. Doesn't matter, I'll do all analysis on interval or real number. That's not going to affect our concepts. Hmm. So look at this sequence, hmm. sequence of functions, where of course N is your natural number. Correct? So, on given this sequence, what you can say about this sequence? Is it converge uniform? Take it. A converge karra uniformly. Second, what you can say about the derivative of the sequence? G in prime. The derivative of this converges uniformly in every interval not containing 1. Third option, G in prime converges pointwise to a continuous function. Last, G in prime x converges uniformly in every interval not containing 0. So, ek, ju, the, there is one option which is asking about the z and x and all other options is asking just about the derivatives. So, let's see ki kaise hai. So, whenever derivative things will come and all that, so it's, it's become so scary but trust me it's not so scary. It's, it's, it's a trivial question. How to deal this problem? That's important, right? Let's understand that. So, I always start solution to this question, correct? How to approach? How to think this kind of problem? What will your approach? Correct? So, I have uploaded plenty of videos on uniform convergence. I hope you must have seen it. But even though if you have not seen it, please first see that. Then you are able to understand that what I am asking, what I am going to say in the just few seconds. Correct? So let's see this. <coughs> so what is this? You have a sequence kya de rakha hai So here your sequence is GNX. is very simple sequence. X by 1 plus NX square. And you are asking about the derivative of this. Let me first find the derivative. So derivative of this is nothing but the simple calculation will say Okay. 1 plus n square minus x times 2 n x square and that's the results 1 minus n x square upon 1 plus n x square the power square. Correct? So this is the derivative of g n prime. Okay. For all n. Now, Let's first do the analysis of gn prime and then I'll move to the gn. So most of the students are different here. Let's come to here. So when x 0 is 0, correct? When x is 0, this, is, this quantity is 1. And when x is not 0, and if I take the limit as n tends to infinity, 1 by that will give you 0. And minus n times x square but niche mein n square present hai. so that rate of increasing of niche wala is much much higher than upper wala so that tends to 0 so this sequence you know this sequence tends to of course 1 when x is equal to 0 and equal to 0 when x is not equal to 0 so my gn prime converges to a discontinuous function on r pointwise so g n prime converges to a pointwise to a continuous function is wrong option. So this is wrong. Correct? Eh? Simply. Okay. g n prime converges uniformly in every interval not containing 1. So g n prime would have converged uniformly in every interval not containing 1. Take it. So if I take an interval, you see. You see. You see. interval. Lo. 1 ko nahi contain karne wala. For example, you take 0 crown mein ko ek interval. Lo. Minus half say liquor half. Look at this interval. Minus half say half. This interval does not contain your 1. 
So this option says ZN prime converges uniformly in every interval not containing one. This is an interval not containing one. So if suppose ZN prime converges uniformly in this interval and ZN prime x is continuous, so limit function must be continuous by uniform convergence theorem. But here, whatever limit I'm getting, it's a discontinuous function. Hence, convergence is not uniform. So B option is again false. Correct? Huh? Similarly, D option, I, I would like to leave as an exercise. Please do this D option. Now let's come to the A option. What about the A option? What you can say about the GN? Is it converge uniformly or not? Correct? So, first of all, let's see about the GN. First of all, when this is the value of x, correct? So, first of all, let's see that x has two cases. This is your real line. This is your minus 1 from 1. And then, this is outside. So, if you take any real number, there are only two possibilities. Either the mod of x is less than or equal to 1, or mod of x is greater than 1. Correct? है? So, in cases, I have to do the analysis. So, in minus 1 to 1, the maximum value of this derivative will occur. Where will it be 0? So, x square equal to 1 by n. When x square ka value 1 by n, when will this value be 0? When will this value be 1 by n? When will this value be 1 by n? और जब x square so one तो जब n x square equal to one होगा तो नीचे में two और x का value one by root ten correct है so आप देख लो this g n x correct minus zero this value is less than equal to what is this x का value one upon root ten और नीचे x square equal to 1 by n so n is square equal to 1 so that's value is 2 so that's nothing but 1 upon 2 root n this is 2 for all x belongs to minus 1 7 okay and jab x jab x ka madam mod of x x se bada hoga what is this to make g in x minus 0 i'll just put mod of x 1 plus nx square nature of positive hai. so use the dominant convergence mod of x upon n times x square 1 plus nx square is greater than equal to nx square so 1 plus 1 by x square dominated by n times x square so x square I can write the mod of x ka whole square 1 this gets cancelled because I am assuming here mod x is greater than 1 I am assuming mod x because mod x less than 1 click estimate हमारे पास है let's find the estimate for mod x greater than 1 so that's it this is nothing but 1 by n this is less than 1 by n actually you will get mod of x and mod of x is so in that interval you are getting g and x is less than equal to 1 by n for all So I found the estimate on GN, correct? है? So GN का जो है estimate, let me write it here. So this this GN, तो GN x का जो estimate है, GN x minus zero, या तो one by n से छोटा है, जब mod x एक से बड़ा होगा, और जब mod x एक से छोटा होगा, GN x की जो estimate है, वो one by two root n. And each cases this tends to zero, this tends to zero for all x uniformly. Hence GN converges to zero uniformly. So this says GN converges to zero uniformly or not. So this is true. So A option is correct. ठीक है ना? So very simple. Look how simply I have done. आप इसको देख के मैं सो जाओगे. आप इसको देख के अरे how to do, how to take the estimate and all that. You have to divide. No other option. You have to look 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 at the question from different perspective. Right? है? I was not sure here R or interval is given. Forget what is given. Use your intuition. How to do this? ठीक है ना? तो ऐसे इस क्वेश्चन को अप्रोच करना था. So in minus one to one, I took one estimate of GM, and when mod x is greater than one, I took the another estimate of GM, and each estimate is independent of x, and that's a definition for uniform convergence. If n x is less than m n, and m n tends to zero, hence convergence is uniform, and if n converges zero uniformly, that's a definition. Correct है? 
So by definition, this is true. So first option is correct. So look how question was very easy. And this option I like to leave as an exercise. Please do this. What is your answer? What you have written in exam? Write on the comment. Even if you are not confident, write it. I will solve. I because right now we are not in exam hall, right? Now we are learning. Read this. Do be mistake where forget that. Learn like a child and look at the question. And I have given the enough hint. Apply those hint to the D option and solve it. It's very simple option, correct? But I would like to. You should think and you should give the correct answer so that now you will realize. Oh my God, this was very easy question. Correct? So go like this and solve like this. ठीक है? So thank you for watching and आप हमेशा बहुत ही उत्साह हमारा बढ़ाते हैं और if you like this video then please like and share among your friends and if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet please subscribe it so that all my updates you will get and if you want to learn mathematics you are most welcome come and enjoy mathematics I have my center in Delhi GSI. So thank you for watching my videos. It really means a lot. Thank you so much.